Welcome back, homemakers. And if you're new here, my name is Pasha and I welcome you here. This is our second episode of our homemaking series and you guys seem to enjoy the last one. So I'm here to give you more. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about routines and the importance in establishing a routine in your homemaking journey. Now, for me, when I became a mom, I was really all over the place, didn't really know how to set a routine for myself and also just for my family. I've always been very organized when I was single and everything else, but when I became a wife and a mother and I was responsible solely of my um, my child, myself, and then also take care of my husband and serving him as well, I had to create and learn how to create a routine and be consistent. Now, consistency is very important when it comes to creating a routine in order to create a healthy habit for yourself it will require 30 days of being consistent at whatever habit that you're trying to establish or whatever routine you're trying to establish so start small even if it's just starting a morning routine be consistent at waking up at this certain time and making sure you do this a certain way and yes some people say that routine get boring and stale but for me um, personally it helps me stay on task even when it comes to meal planning for my family I have a routine where I'm planning out meals for the week and so I don't have to eat out constantly and spending all this money when I already have my meals um, prepped and also planned out so when I go to the grocery store I know what I'm buying and I know what I'm cooking and then we always have leftovers because I like to cook in batches. So ladies, definitely try your best to establish a routine when it comes to meal planning so you're not spending um, money on, you know, fast food and you're making nutritious meals from the comfort of your home. Now, another routine that I like to establish, of course, is my morning routine. My morning routine consists of me waking up before my family and I like to spend time with God, also to spend time with myself and I also like to get myself ready for the day. If I'm not ready for the day, then the day is not going to be ready for me okay so i like to get up make sure i wash my face and i also put on clothes even though i work from home and i'm most of the time 90 percent of the time i'm home i like to still dress myself for the day and after i dress myself for the day um i'll typically make sure my kids are already awake and get them up and ready for the day if they haven't woken up before me and also in my night routine i don't want to go off course but i do already have their clothes that they're wearing when they go to daycare or um school already out but i'm at that point just prepping and getting them ready and i also like to make a breakfast in the morning on my morning routines to make sure my kids eat I also encourage you to get your family involved in this routine. Like even here, I have this tracker sheet for my son. Um, he is in kindergarten, but I get this tracker sheet so he can also have um, established a healthy morning and night routine where he has to brush his teeth, make his bed, and make sure you have all his clothes out. And this will just give him the structure that he needs. And also for my daughter, I also have a routine for her. Now her routine may not be as consistent as my son, because she is only a toddler however even at the young age the, the bible says to train up a child in the way that they should go and as they grow old they will not depart that come that's spiritually and also just from the routines that you're doing and establishing they will benefit from this long term it's not just you doing this and they will not remember this no they will there was like small things that my mom did growing up for me that i picked up on and i found myself doing that it was like the smallest thing of like she used to always buy these airwick plugins and i remember when i got my first apartment i just started buying those plugins because i love my house to smell great and so just like small things where you think that a child is not paying attention but your children are always watching you you are your child's first teacher and they're gonna watch you they're gonna learn from the things that you do and then when they go on their own off on the world because at the end of the day our children are not our own we're preparing them to become adults and so what kind of an adult are you going to raise like what kind of child are you raising when they become a young woman or a young man so i am doing this for my children so they can go back and say hey my mom used to do this and you know what let me go ahead and do this so my mom taught me how to do this so definitely get your children involved in routines now the next routine i would like to bring up is creating a cleaning routine now if you are a mama of littles 
always remember that this is only for a season and it's sometimes it's not sometimes all the time it's pretty much hard to keep a clean home with small children but remember we have to involve the family in our routines even in our cleaning routine even if it's just something as small as having the kids pick up their toys and place them back you have to train them up at a young age and so with my children i allow them to play only in a certain area even if that's just the bedroom toys are only allowed in the bedroom they are not allowed in the living room or in the bathroom unless they're bathtub um, toys and so even with that i'll let them play and have whatever they want to do in their room because that's their room that's their place where they get to play and be children but after we're done playing i go in there with them and i have them pick up their toys and put them in the toy box you know just small things so they can know how to be you know you training them how to you know clean after themselves because one day i won't have no mess to clean even as they grow up and then they leave the house i'm going to miss cleaning up so just remember a dirty house means there's someone that lives here okay there's a family that lives here a healthy family that's thriving here so don't feel bad give yourself grace when your house is not to perfection it's not about being perfect but it's just about managing it and just creating an environment that is clean you know we want our home to be clean and it's not going to always be perfect but i try my best even at night i have a nighttime routine before i go to bed i make sure my home is tidy especially the kitchen there's no dishes in there because we don't want roaches so we're going to make sure we're cleaning up the kitchen we're, we're polishing our sink at the end of the day there's nothing in there now you may have a day where you don't feel like doing it mama but try your best to push yourself to do it make sure the floor is swept up and your home is clean so when you wake up in the morning you have a clean home your home is feeling cozy like i don't know about you but i love waking up and my home is clean it, i mean listen it just does something to me and also with a laundry routine as you can see me right now doing my laundry i try my best to do be um great at that i'm not i'm not perfect at that i won't sit here and say i'm perfect at doing laundry there's times where i just have piles of clothes just piled up or i will wash the clothes but don't fold them but try to get in the habit of when once you get your clothes out the dryer you're folding and hanging them up and putting them away because if you don't and you let them sit there it's going to be there until the next laundry time and now you have another mountain of clothes and not when trying to figure out where did all these clothes come from? Listen, I've been there. I've done that. So I'm teaching you these so we all can break these habits and keep it a tidy and clean home. How you decide to manage your home and create whatever routine that works for you. Remember, everybody lifestyle and home is yours personalized i may be giving you these tips but do what works for you establish a routine that works for you at the end of the day i've taken some um advices from people other content creators that make you know routine videos just for motivation but i made it my own so me sharing this with you is just to encourage you but also this I just pray that you guys will create what works for your family and you'll begin to establish the routines, the healthy routines for your family so your family can thrive and also you can thrive as a homemaker, as a server of your home and your home is your first ministry. I don't care if you are working mama, before any job, make sure your home is served and right because you can't go on no job and you're making sure everything's good for someone else but your home is out of order make sure your home is in decency and order at all times it won't be perfect but you're you're prioritizing your ministry okay i love you guys and i hope you learned so much from this video if you would like to see more homemaking series let me know in the comment what else you want to learn and i hope that you will begin to implement this in your daily life and your routines and that you will begin to thrive from this i am so excited for you and i'm so excited to hear what it is that you have done even if it's just one small thing i hope you learn from it and that you will grow from it and you'll begin to share that with me i love you ladies and i hope you have an amazing week an amazing homemaking journey until next time i'll see you later bye bye